Exactly three years ago, federal agents raided a West Omaha home, found a man running a worldwide network for child pornography. The arrest of one man has led to more than a dozen convictions. But for the first time, we're learning how close investigators came to losing the case. I-Team investigator David Earl tonight on the one moment in time and the agent who probably saved the investigation. After a lead from overseas and months of surveillance, the FBI in Omaha had its target, the house of Aaron McGrath in a West Omaha subdivision, blocks from a school where investigators suspected the tech worker was running what was basically a social media site for child porn. He was doing all that through his laptop, which he kept in his possession 24-7. Special Agent Jeff Tarpinian developed the takedown plan, and timing was everything. You see, the site's visitors were using something called the Tor Network. It's free, it's perfectly legal, and it cloaks the identities of its users. Tor is a group of thousands of computers that bounce around internet traffic, frequently drawing criminals who operate in the dark. Around 4 p.m. on November 15, 2012, agents saw Aaron McGrath get home from work. They knew he was the only one home, and they saw McGrath get online. That's when they burst through the door, up the stairs, and into the bedroom to arrest him. With the sheets sort of up to his waist, he had a laptop computer on his lap um, that was open. What happened next is like a scene in a movie. McGrath had started to snap the laptop shut, which the FBI says would have locked them out of valuable evidence. With seconds to spare, Special Agent Tarpinian put his hand in the way of the screen and the keyboard, keeping the laptop from closing. Had it shut, the data would have been encrypted. Which would make it much more difficult, if not impossible, to gain access to all the data on that computer. Over several months of watching McGrath's laptop and servers now in federal custody, the FBI would identify a whole host of pedophiles. With a never-before-used investigative technique, agents in Omaha would weave back through the Tor network, making a list of people they would charge, a list that landed on the desk of U.S. Attorney Deborah Gilg. I think the common concept is it's just some nerd sitting in their mother's basement hunched over a computer who you know, doesn't have a girlfriend or a boyfriend and um, this is something that they're doing. But it, it cuts through all levels and classes of individuals. Like Wesley Cameron, a soon-to-be father from Alabama. His plea agreement in court said he was planning to produce and share images of child porn in anticipation of the birth of his daughter. It was a very perverted social network. Ultimately, all those charged were guilty. Federal judges handed out more than 160 years in prison. For the I-Team, I'm David Earle, KETV News Watch 7.